Are you dreaming of your own Disneyland at home? Then this is your video. My name is Jeffrey and I built uh, three nighttime shows. The Main Street Electrical Parade, the Cinderella Castle Projection Show and the Electrical Water Pageant. And today I want to show you a little bit of the details and how it was made. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a special video for you. We're going to visit Jeffrey from Arnhem in the Netherlands. He made the Main Street Electrical Parade in miniature. And he also made the Cinderella Castle in miniature. Both things are uh, not containing any 3D printed materials. It's all made by hand. So let's go to Arnhem and listen how he all made it a reality. Here is Jeffrey from Arnhem. So now we're at Cinderella Castle. Uh, this is a scale model, it's about 70 centimeters high. Uh, it's made from scratch. It's no 3D printed parts. And uh, it took me about seven or eight years to build the castle and later I built the landscape. And I want to explain to you how it works uh, with the projection show. Uh, because um, as you can see over here, you see two small houses and they appear to be part of the landscape, but actually down under the landscape here are two big projectors and they project in that direction. And in these houses there are two mirrors that redirect the light onto the castle. So the projection goes this way and then project back on the castle. And because I have two projectors, I can project both a little bit on the right and on the left side at the same time. So it looks like the whole castle is, uh, is wrapped up. And that creates the illusion as if the castle lights up by itself. Now, under the landscape, there's also uh, a cooling system because these projectors are you know, about this big, really big. They get hot and all the hot air comes out on the side of the landscape here below. The lights that you see here are uh, real light bulbs, original light bulbs. Uh, the lights in the castle is all LED. So behind me, you can see the show is running now on the screens. Each screen represents one of the two projectors that's projecting onto the castle. Now this is the left part of the castle, this is the right part of the castle. And the projectors, they overlap each other. And that way it creates the illusion as if the whole castle is wrapped up in light. Um, it took me about, I think about a year to make this projection show. I had to learn the software, it's a Toon Boom Harmony. It's also used for The Simpsons and many Disney movies. Uh, it's, it's animation software. And what I did was I, I turn on the projectors, I draw a circle and a line, and then I move it, and I see where it's hitting the castle. So I recreated a, an outline of the castle, and then later it's, uh, yeah, fill in the blanks and fill in the shapes and you have the model of the castle. So behind 
behind me you see two computer screens and each screen represents one projector that's projecting onto the castle. And what you see here, this is the left side of the castle, this is the right side of the castle. And these two projectors, they, they overlap each other. So the image, once it's projected on the castle, it's, it's connected. It, it forms one castle. And because of the two projectors, I can wrap up the whole castle, both on the left side and the right side. Uh, the software I use to make this uh, projection show is actually an animation show and I use animation software with this. Uh, it's Toon Boom Harmony. It took me about a year to make this whole projection show. Well, a few months to learn the software because it's, uh, it's not easy to do that. My first project is the Main Street Electrical Parade. It's a real working life version uh, in miniature. And uh, the parade runs right through this small part of uh, Main Street. All these houses are custom made and all the lights that you see here, it's actually uh, glass fiber lights. So behind it are a few light bulbs and they light up. but actually these are all small glass fibers about five millimeters long and the train is a, is, a, is a hollow object and inside are a few light bulbs that light up the whole train and the illusion is that each light is an individual light now you see the wheels I hope you can see it on the camera you can see the wheels are uh, blinking and it appears to be they are really driving riding uh, these are longer glass fiber strings, about this long, and they all come together in, in, in three places with three lights and they all uh, flicker like that and it gives the illusion that it's actually turning around. So here you see the electrical stuff to let the lights uh, blink in this way. This is the building where all the floats are stored and as you can see they're ready to go. The Main Street Electrical Parade. Behind me is the second project. Uh, this is the electrical water pageant and the original electrical water pageant was made in 1971 and that was also the inspiration actually for the Main Street Electrical Parade. Uh, the electrical water pageant still exists today and it floats nightly on uh, the Seven Seas Lagoon in Walt Disney World. And uh, I recreated a, a smaller version, but I use a different backdrop. Uh, this one is inspired by uh, Pete's Dragon, the movie from the 70s. And I use uh, Candle on the Water as the soundtrack for the show. And there are actually 14 floats, uh, now you see four on display here. The water is drained from the lake now, so there's no water in there, but during the show it's, it has real water. So the boats really float on the water. And what I like very much is the reflection on the water of the animals, and it's, it, this, this show is really magical. Um, the curtain goes up, the lights come out, uh, it's, it's really a really, really nice show. All the floats they have LED lights but the small lights you see here are um, glass fibers and many of those glass fibers they come together in one place where one or two LEDs light up this whole bunch of uh, glass fibers and for example the head of the turtle there are actually three heads and each head has a bunch of glass fibers come together in one place and then I have three uh, LEDs that that blink in a certain pattern and that creates the illusion that the head is actually going up and down. Because the electrical water pageant uh, is in the water, I wanted to have the, the, 
the floats really float in the water so I use real water in this one and uh, that was kind of a challenge to get the floats floating in the right way and the right speed and um, but what's really nice is the reflection in the water and, uh, and it gives a sort of serene feeling uh, during the show. This one is really magical. Uh, once the curtain goes up automatically you see those animals floating by uh, with, together with the music. It's actually very simple, it's just a few LED lights, it's, it's very simple figures, uh, but it's really magical. I love those, um, those simple, so, yeah, simple attractions, simple shows, not too difficult, but they have a really magic impact. And that's why I like the electrical water pageant. I had to build this one.